All right, so we're going through 65 special, mission, special missing values. Uh, so we need to read, read the data set uh, in the source folder, and then it says we want to return the rows whose singles uh, position have dropped compared to the last weeks. Uh, so we're going to look for that information here. So I already have this loaded up. Um, one thing we'll note, like if you load this, you're going to see that, well, one, it's a TSV file, so I know it's like tab-separated values. So that means we need to indicate that we are um, delimiting by tabs, not by... Um, by default by commas or by whatever semicolons we used previously. Uh, okay, so in here we have this and then, all right, we need to go in and I think the basic idea is the one thing we have to do is we have to convert any special values um, from new and re to, yeah, to be something else. And okay, so we can look for, like if we look at our data set, if we do like print df bracket pos position print data frame, uh, last week, we should be able to get, you can see the kind of information that's in there, right? We should get some number of values in here. And so really the issue that we have is in this one. Um, in the last week one, we have some values that are new and re, and we want to replace those with, um, just with none, I think is the idea. So let's go through here. Uh, I see a couple things in here. Like, I wonder, are these all going to be strings? I wonder if Oh, maybe we'll have to mess around with some stuff first. All right, so let's see in here. Um, first things first, we have to convert some data from new to re. So we're going to look back up here. Like, this is how we do our replacement. Uh, we can apply this. We can do our replacement in here. So, okay, so I'm wondering, yeah, so I'm interested in see this. We could apply it across the entire data frame. I feel like we don't want to apply this to the whole thing because we might replace some. Oh, well, I guess it won't really matter because re and new are really only in, only within that one um, that one data frame they're looking at, or within that one column, so it won't matter too much. All right, so let's look back to our code and just see kind of like what do we need to do. We need to say df.replace and then whatever. We need to make a dictionary of things of what we need to do. So let's do, um, and let's see, we're going to say df is equal to df.replace, and then we need to make our dictionary. So we're going to say that if we see re, then we should replace that with none. And if we should see new, we should also replace that with none. And then let's see if we do print df w, we should see now, I'm going to get rid of these two. We should see, great, yeah, so we replaced them, excellent. Um, okay, so now what else do we need to do in here? I think at this point we're pretty close to being done. Uh, oh, actually, you know, I want to see, is this data type, it's still an object, because I think all this data in here is, I, I think it'll be okay, but I'm, I'm curious because, like, hmm, like, I wonder if I can pull out an individual value from here, because I want to see if these are strings or if these are integers. I think that may, so we'll see, we'll see what they're going to be. Uh, I'm just kind of curious out of this. If we do, like, LW, we should be able to do, like, just access an item from there. And let's do print, let's check type on this. We'll run those two. Let's try and run that. We're see, okay, we're, we're getting a string out of there. Okay, so that's okay. I think we can deal with that in our code. There, there are fancier ways we can do this, and we'll get this like just shortly into our chapter, how we could treat these as integers, and maybe I could show you that way, just to give a little heads up. But um, we can also, I think, just recognize that those are strings, and we need to convert them into Integers. So we wanted to return the rows whose singles positions dropped compared to last week's position. All right. So that means we need to make, I think to me, that means that we need to make a mask where df last week is less than, right, where the singles position, yeah, where their last week one was less than df. Um, pause. I wonder if this is going to work. We can just try this. I think there's going to be an issue because either it's going to treat these as strings, um, in which case we might have to do something a little bit different here. Uh, so let's say in here, so we're going to do df mask by that. Um, let's try and do just df mask. Let's print and see what we get. If everything works, if everything pops out, great. If not, we're probably going to have an issue because these are strings and these are integers. It might say, like, I'm not sure how we're going to compare those. Not supported by instance of ints and strings. All right, so... Okay, um, I think what we need to do is, I don't know if there's a better way of doing it. I think we have to do as type int. So we need to treat this thing like it's an integer. So let's try and run through there. Um, 
let's see. Mm, actually, so there, okay. So what we could do here is, I'm in the wrong spot here. Over here, we have these, we have these none values in here. So we could, now that we've cleaned those out, we could delete those values from, let's try and do this. Let's say df is equal to df.dropna. Um, we're gonna say, we're not gonna say any axis. We're gonna say how, we just wanna get rid of any of the rows where the values are not there. So we're gonna say how any. Actually, I don't think I even need to say that because by default it's gonna be any. Let's do print df, let's do df, df last week unique. Right? We're going to go to there, we're going to find last week. Or is that what we're replacing it from was last week, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't want to get all this other stuff in here, though. It does seem like that's now working, which is great. Um, yeah, so we're seeing all those unique values in there. Okay, and now this part is going to work. Okay, so that's kind of got a, a heads up that this is actually going to work. Um, all right, so we're going to go into here as type int. Okay, so we, we found these are all the unique values, so we don't need that anymore. Um, yeah, okay, and I don't know if there's a way we could have dropped this more directly rather than replacing them with none. It seems like this is two steps in Python. You can normally do it in one, um, but that should be fine. Anyways, uh, so let's just take a look at, let's try and run this again. I didn't really look at our answer here. That looks pretty good, um, and all of these, our last week was less than there. We're not seeing all the ones. Um, I think we can do this. This is more just me being curious. I think this works. This is like using not in there. So if it's like the opposite, like doing the inverse of the mask, like using an exclamation mark in uh, typical coding. So I can delete that. Let's, let's run this. Yeah, and there we go. So we're getting last week. So that is working appropriately. All right, so we didn't have as int in there. Okay. Um, and then return the rows. I think that's it, right? We just need to return df mask. Return. Hey. All right, so let's see what we got in here. We go to our run, we do our config, unit test, test this. And then we do that. Oh, I was gonna think it's gonna work. Oh, it's not gonna work. Okay, really not sure what, I don't think I did anything different to this, but uh, when I run it now, that works. I don't know. Maybe I didn't save it or something. Um, but boom, getting all checks there. Okay. 